Hello, this is Mr. McGovern, and this is the fifth video in the series on waves, and we are looking at the formula for the Doppler effect. So we're going to look at the formula, um, how to make sure we pick the right one, because there's two versions of it and an example. So this is the uh, formula for the Doppler effect, and what it does is it calculates the frequency that an observer hears, either when the car or object is moving towards them, uh, such as the person with the blue shirt in the picture below, or when they're moving away from them and they hear a, a lower frequency, such as the girl in the red shirt. So each of the symbols are, the F with the dash is the observed frequency. So what, what either the person in the blue shirt or the red shirt will hear, and that could be higher or lower. Um, F is the frequency of the source, so that's whatever frequency the police car siren is giving out when it's stationary. V, subscript W, so remember subscripts are labels. Um, so it's velocity, and the W stands for wave. So the velocity of the wave, and with sound it's about 330, but that can change um, depending on if it's hot um, air or um, different air density. But they usually give you that value there. And VS is velocity of the source, how fast the car's moving, for example. You need to be able to pick the right formula, because if you look very carefully at this formula, you'll see there's a plus minus. So it's effectively two formulas. So you could pick one where you do VW plus VS, and you could pick one where you do VW minus VS. So which one do you use? So first of all, you have to be able to remember off by heart that when something's coming towards you, it has a higher pitch, and when it's got moving away from you, it has a lower pitch. So that sound of an ambulance going past you or a car going past you, that where it starts off high and then it gets low, you have to know that. Once you know that, you know that when a car moves towards you, you get a higher observed frequency. And to use the formula to get a high frequency, we need a small number on the bottom of a fraction. Right? Whenever you divide by a small number, you get a large number. Whenever you divide by a large number, you get a smaller number. So you have to know this math as well. To get a small number on the bottom of the fraction, we need to use minus. So with a car moving towards you, I think high frequency. Then I look at the formula and I say, how can I get a high observed frequency? I want the bottom of the fraction to be smaller. That happens with the minus sign. So you may need to be able to do these steps yourself. What if the car is moving away from you, such as the girl with the red um, dress? Then you need to know that it has a lower frequency. To get a lower frequency, we need to divide by a large number. And then to get the large number on the bottom of the fraction, we're going to use plus. So that process is something that you need to know how to do yourself. So as an example, so a car has an 800 hertz horn, it moves towards you at, at um, 20 meters a second, so it's going towards you. The speed of sound is 330 meters a second, find the frequency you hear. So first of all, I know that the car is moving towards me, so it's going to have a high frequency. I then go through this process of saying, to get a high frequency, I need to divide by a small number. A small number is created with the minus on the fraction, so that's the formula I'm using. Then just put the numbers in. I thought my 330 was my velocity of my wave, 20 meters a second was my um, the speed of the car. Simplify it, and so you see the 330 minus 20 gives you a smaller number on the bottom of the fraction. It gives you 310. And your calculation, you end up with 851 hertz, a higher frequency than what you started with. So that kind of makes sense. So the extra for experts, uh, if you want to stay on for the last minute of this, is I'm just going to look at what happens when the car moves away from you and compare the two answers. So if we're now thinking about the girl in the picture, the one with the little uh, red dress, same situation, the car's moving at the same speed, but it's moving away from you. What frequency do you hear? You need to know that when it moves away, you have a lower frequency. Therefore, you need a large number on the bottom of the fraction, which happens with a plus. You then um, put the numbers in, 330 uh, and plus 20 this time. And you notice when you simplify it, now you've got a larger number on the bottom of the fraction. And when you divide this, you get an overall smaller frequency. So frequency is down to now 754. So now this is the extra for experts. This question comes up once every, I don't know, two or three years. I just want you to notice something. You start off with 800 hertz is what the car is. The person in front here is 851. And so the difference between those is 51 hertz. Now the amateur error is to think that the difference on the other side, that the girl here is, is also 51 hertz. It is not. This is not a symmetrical um, split. The frequencies are not evenly spread. So we calculated that just before on the last slide, and we found it was 754. That difference is only 46. Okay, So uh, there's been a question every so often where they ask you to, um, to use this knowledge to do some sort of harder calculation. But you just have to remember that these are not evenly split, and therefore if you're given 754 and 851, 
and you had to work out the 800. That's not evenly in the middle either.